It's time now for a little latest in local news. In the news, a Georgia correction officer died Sunday after being attacked by a prisoner at Smith State Prison in Glenville, Georgia. 42-year-old correction officer Robert Clark was escorting two prisoners from the dining hall when Leighton Lister assaulted him from behind with a homemade weapon that, according to the Georgia Department of Corrections. Other prisoner being escorted, Marco Willingham, tried to assist the correction officer, was also attacked by Lester. Clark died from his injuries after being transported to a hospital. Willingham was hospitalized with injuries that are not life-threatening. Georgia Department of Corrections Commissioner Tyrone Oliver released a statement saying the entire Georgia Department of Corrections team is mourning the loss of one of our own. and We collectively express our deepest condolences to Officer Clark's family and friends. We will support them as they navigate this tragedy over the coming days, weeks, and months. Lester was convicted by, back in 2007 on a murder conviction in Tift County, is serving a life sentence. Wayne County Commissioner set to meet tonight at 6 p.m. on the agenda under citizens', citizens concerns. Corbett Nichols regarding EMS, Farrell Cooks regarding Wayne County Band Competition, John Steed regard, regarding paving of B. Baker Drive. Under old business, consider and approve EMS policy and procedures and employee handbook that was tabled from their September 4th meeting. A lot of items under new business, consider and approve installing some pipeline beneath Holmesville Road, consider and approve Pine Ridge Subdivision Phase 2, consider and approve bid for metal building for elections, consider and approve bid for concessions, consider and approve resolution urging the governor to improve mental health, consider and approve roads in Hunter's Glen Subdivision, consider and approve naming of the soccer complex, consider and approve resolution for Okefenokee Mining, consider and approve bids for landscaping services, consider and approve contract for land for fire station to the city of Jessup, Consider approved piping a ditch located at 407 Palm Island Circle and consider approved purchase over $15,000. A couple of board appointments, items with the administrator, items with the county clerk, items with commissioners, executive session, all that today at 6 p.m. at the county commissioner's meeting room. City of Jessup set to meet tomorrow, the commissioners at 7 p.m. at City Hall under new, bu- new business discussion of a grant for officer training, update on band competition, discussion of leased land from city for a billboard, Discussion of Saturday business hours for sports bar. Executive session discuss personnel. Items with the city manager. Items with the commissioners. Items with the mayor. All that tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Just as city commissioners meet at 7 p.m. at City Hall. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. In other news, last week the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce held a program entitled The State of Wayne. The panel consisted of County Administrator Paul Drotty. Mayor's Jessup, Mayor Ralph Hickox, Odom Mayor Greg Rozier, and Scriven Mayor Jason Weaver. Today we'll hear from Odom Mayor Greg Rozier, who talked about the importance of the city of Odom once again having their own police department. Chief Leon McKinney is from Baxley. He's not from here, and he's doing a great job for us uh, at our police chief. I've noticed since we put our police back in place that our citizens are feeling more comfortable, they're feeling more safer than before. And we've been able to really stop a lot of crime up there before it even gets started. Sheriff does a fantastic job keeping us protected up there. But when you got police of your own, that changes the ball game. It just makes things work a whole lot better. And so I've seen a big difference up there since he's been police chief. And uh, we just hope that uh, we can just keep uh, keep everything going with our police department. Uh, I got a police clerk, Ebony Smith. She does a great job keeping up with the tickets and the reports and stuff that we do with our police department. And so she's doing wonderful. We got a judge up there for our municipal court, Tracy Brown. I'm sure y'all know him. And so he is our judge up there. So. Anyway, if you get a ticket up there, uh, you you know the judge. <laughs> um, I want to just tell you too. Uh, I want to I want to mention my uh, city council. Uh, Kathy Roger is one of our members of the city council. He's here today. Kevin Higgs. I don't know if he's here. Greg Leggett. Clay Teston. Ron Fluter. Folks, these are my people. They're the key that makes things work. Uh, without these people, I couldn't make anything work. So I work very close with my council. And we all on the same page. We all work good together. You've probably seen some of these councils on TV. It could be on Jerry Springer show. But I don't have that. 
They are. They get down to business, we find out what the problems are, we fix the problems. And uh, so, if you're coming to get a Jerry Springer show, this ain't the place to go. <laughs> And again, those comments of Greg Rozier at the State of Wayne last week. Tomorrow we'll close out the comments from the forum from Scriven Mayor Jason Weaver. City of Odom set to celebrate its 40th annual Odom Homecoming this Saturday. The parade gets underway at 10, platform ceremonies at 11 this Wednesday. However, they've got the reception at 7 p.m. at the Odom Rec Center honoring Citizen of the Year Shelby Anderson, Parade Grand Marshal Becky Scott, who's Odom Elementary Teacher of the Year, and Outstanding Team Madison Cerency. All that this coming Wednesday at 7 p.m. at the Odom Rec Center. Again, the public invited to attend. And Saturday evening, the big events. And then it closes out Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. with the community church service at the Odom Depot. Guest speaker will be Justin Click, pastor of Piney Grove Church of God. Tickets on sale this week at Odom City Hall for the Kids Zone. And also they've got T-shirts available at City Hall as well. And the T-shirts feature Sula Aspinwall's home in Odom, Georgia. City of Jessup has several contested races. The election day is set for Tuesday, November 7th, but advanced voting is going to begin on Monday, October 16th. Run through Friday, November the 3rd. Early voting takes place at the Hall Richardson Rec Center located at 644 North 4th Street. Deadline to register to vote in the City of Jessup elections is Tuesday, October the 10th. There will be two Saturday early voting dates, Saturday, October 21st, Saturday, October 28th. The times on Saturday voting will be from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You changed your name or address since you last voted. They asked that you please update your file by coming to the registrar's office, filling out a change of address form. The last day to request an absentee ballot is Friday, October 27th. City of Jessup has a contested mayor's race. The incumbent Ralph Hickox and Tyrone Johnson, the two candidates seeking the office. District 1, the race is between former Jessup Police Chief Perry Morgan and former City Council member in District 1, Ricky Reddish. District 4, the two candidates are Jonathan McCullough and Margaret Rawls. And in District 5, the two candidates are former Jessup City Manager Mike Deal and Katrina Dumas. Once again, early voting begins Monday, October 16th at 8 a.m. at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center, and the voting will take place Monday through Friday each day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news, Martha Puckett Middle School has a special event for parents. They're invited to team up with teachers at Martha Puckett Middle School tomorrow, October 3rd. Title I meeting begins at 5.30 p.m. in the Media Center. Academic parent-teacher teams meet from 6 to 7. Information about student progress and a game plan for success will be provided. Again, that takes place tomorrow at Martha Puckett Middle School. And the Wayne County Fair kicks off October 3rd through the 7th at the J.C. Fairgrounds, Tuesday through Thursday, 6 to 10, Friday and Saturday, 6 to 11. Admission is $10 per person. Rides included in the price. Children under 32 inches you're admitted free. Again, J.C. Fairgrounds, October 3rd through the 7th at Wayne County Fair. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports control in a few minutes. Bob Morgan's have a great day.